So the one other thing I wanted to talk about is like how to get put together uh, uh, kind of, uh, uh, it's not really a network stack, it's like a secure communication uh, uh, stack uh, from, the, from the crypto, from, it's not, it's for, from the, uh, uh, the implementation uh, uh, of, the, of the cryptography point of view. Um, so, um, and there's some, some, some things, some uh, non-trivial things going on there. Um, so, so what we want to get, we want to, to overall to get a, 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 a security, uh, secure channels between the parties, right? So I want to have a functionality, which is a, a, a functionality of a secure channel, secure uh, 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 channel, which is uh, uh, the functionality uh, says, you know, so it's again, remember functionality is a piece of code that whenever somebody activates it, it kind of starts, you know, so somebody has to first activate it. Uh, the first guy who calls it as a subroutine. So, so the, somebody activates it, the initiator of the session, and says, you know, I'm, uh, uh, I am the initiator of the session, that's my identity, and maybe this is an ace ID, a se uh, identity for the session, and I want to talk to some party R, and uh, uh, I'm gonna set it up, and, uh, and this thing is going to actually essentially, ideally, tell R, look, uh, 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 there is some I out there, and uh, here's uh, the SID, and uh, now there's this channel between you guys. And, uh, and now these guys can actually start sending messages over the, over the channel, and, and these messages, and uh, by the way, before doing that, they also you know, tell the adversary, or the simulator, tell it there is, uh, I'm I and I'm R, and there's this SID in the channel, because you don't want to hide it. And then, when this is set up, parties can start sending uh, uh, messages, right? So, so there is a message coming here, uh, and uh, uh, and this message essentially is going to come out here, and it's going to be secure and authenticated. So this guy is going to learn the length of the message, and uh, we should have some additional mechanism in the functionality for uh, replay protection. You know, if maybe the message here coming in five times can only come out here five times, etc. Uh, um, and uh, so we get integrity. Uh, and we get secrecy, um, and 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 we have for the duration of, of of the session, right? And so this is what we would like to get, and we would like to be able to analyze it, and we'll be able to analyze it kind of like uh, uh, in the spirit of composability. Just talk about analyzing a single one. We want to be able to analyze a single one, and uh, and 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 not worry about the others, and then later use the composition theorem to say that you know even though we analyze it, is, it that's the only thing that happens, it's okay, uh, it's going to be okay even when you have many other secure sessions, secure channels, and everything else that's running in the network. Um, so uh, so how are we going to do it? So that's like the box that we want to realize, and the natural thing to do it is to if we want to open it up. Uh, you want to say, okay, so what's the what's going on in between, uh, inside? So the natural implementation, you would say, okay, so uh, uh, so this box. Now let's do a protocol that realizes this uh, uh, using some some basic components, right? So what would be the, the protocol? The protocol would say, I'm getting now from the initiator uh, SID, and I want to talk to R uh, to initiate with R. So what you what would you do when you initiate? Uh, you would uh, uh, set up uh, a call a key exchange. That's what you do on initiation. And you will call it I'm I. I'm going to, uh, uh, this is still done within the initiator, right? I want to set up an SID. And that's it's now the SID that's served an SID prime, which is derived from SID. And I want to do a key exchange with uh, R, right? And I'm gonna, this is an ideal key exchange box that later is going to be implemented, but right now uh, uh, this key exchange is gonna uh, 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 talk to R and tell it. Now, look, there's something interesting going on here. Before we talk to key exchange, it just waits for inputs from both parties. Now the key exchange is not waiting for that, actually telling the other party, look, there's I wants to talk to you. Do, you, do you agree? Because it's kind of the natural thing thing, thing would happen. And then he gets a yes, and then gets a keys, etc. By the way, he talks to the adversary, of course. In the meantime, tells it this is what's going on, uh, um, and in the end, it just outputs locally uh, a key to I and locally a key uh, uh, to to R, right? 
And uh, this is what you do on initialization. And then maybe you derive from this key's uh, authentication key and uh, an encryption key. Okay, right, both guys do it. Uh, uh, and then uh, when the messages start coming in, uh, in fact, we don't even have to derive it in this way. Uh, um, well, maybe yes. And then, um, and then we need to have this, uh, those ideal boxes uh, uh, that that we did that we did before. Uh, there is the uh, box of encryption. Uh, say the box of uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, this uh, box of uh, a secure message transmission, which is. Uh, uh, in fact, when you do it this way, let me, I jumped ahead of myself. When I do it this way, you just give this one key to, to the box of secure message transmission, right? And the, it gets the key on that side, the key on that side. And uh, it does what we said it would do. Now, it, inside it, if you open this one up, then uh, uh, um, you do, uh, um, uh, you, you, you break it down to, uh, um, let's draw it a bit bigger. And you break it down to uh, to encryption and uh, uh, and uh, f out, right? And this, uh, so that's uh, this one. now you're left with now you want to to realize f out, which you know how to do given the keys, right? And basically now you're done with this. Now the only thing that we now we left that is not realized yes is key exchange, right? Okay. And now we want to realize key exchange, right? So. It, and we still we're now in a key exchange of uh, uh, of a single session of uh, between two parties. I mean, all this is encryption authentication. Now is the key exchange. Um, so now we want to realize key exchange, and now we are in in in, uh, uh, in an unauthenticated network. We want to do key exchange. Uh, so how do we do key exchange? Uh, 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 let's do what the, the standard thing that uh, uh, most people do today, you know, public key infrastructure, based on signatures. You know, either signatures or encryption. You can do pre-shared key, but that's, people don't do it a lot, right? Or maybe at least one side usually is, has a public key, right? So now we want to realize this with a public key, right? So, 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 so how do we do it? So now we look at key exchange. We try to realize key exchange, okay? So, um, so maybe, uh, um, well, not, let's not forget it. Uh, um, let's try to do how, how we realize key exchange. So um, we can realize key exchange, uh, um, the key exchange functionality. So uh, uh, we can realize via key exchange protocol, right? And we have, we saw buggy one, but there are better ones, right? And we have a key exchange protocol. And those protocols, what do they do? They, uh, uh, they get again this I, uh, R, uh, I want an SID, and uh, and then they start sending messages. For instance, you know, I'm sending a Diffie Hellman, a G to the A, and I sign it, right? And I get back a G to the B, and I sign it. And there are all these protocols, which I'm not gonna get into uh, specifically, but you can actually take such a protocol and prove it that it realizes the key chat functionality. Uh, and then the, uh, but what you need in order to show that it's authentic and key exchange, it actually gets the right identities, you need the signatures. So there are several things happening here with the key. So in order to, to, to model the fact that I'm using the signatures here, what is the signature? It's not just, a, it's not just the signing algorithm. It's the, it's the, 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 the I'm going to associate with the public key uh, to verify, and this public key is coming from where? And so we need to figure out how, how are we getting this public key into this. Um, so, um, so, 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 the, so, so, the, the, there are several uh, issues going on here. Um, so, so one thing that I can do, I can, I can, uh, I can say, okay. So let me say that there is a, a, a public key infrastructure. That this is a basic trust model that I add, add to this. So it's, there is an ideal functionality that everybody is using. Uh, as, 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 as a service, and uh, I'm implementing it in a physical way via a, a, a CA. Uh, 